Today, we are going to discuss the history of taxation in the Philippines including its evolution. Before that, what is taxation? Taxation is a government mechanism to raise funds. It is also the practice of collecting taxes or money from citizens based on their earnings and property. What is tax? It is a compulsory financial charge on taxpayer by a governmental organization. A government raises revenue from people. A revenue is a money received by a government from taxes and non-tax sources to enable it to undertake public expenditure. Now that we know the basic concept and meaning of taxation, let's talk about how our government implemented this in a current administration. Taxation has been an integral part of the Philippines government's revenue system for centuries. The history of taxation in the Philippines dates back to the pre-colonial era when barangays or communities collected tributes for the maintenance of their communities. With the advent of colonialism, taxation become more organized and institutionalized. This report will provide an overview of the history of taxation in the Philippines, including its evolution over time and the significant changes in the tax policies that have occurred throughout the country history. Pre-colonial period During the pre-colonial period, taxation in the Philippines was based on the polo system which required its able-bodied male to work for a certain number of days each year for the local leader or datu. In exchange for their labor, the people were given protection and security. This system was prevalent in the most of the barangays or communities in the country. Spanish Period The Spanish colonial era introduced a new taxation system in the Philippines, which was based on tribute or cedula. The cedula system required all Filipino males over the age of 18 to pay a fixed amount of tribute to the Spanish colonial government. This system was highly oppressive and exploitative as it was based on the idea that the colonizer were superior to the colonized. American Period During the American colonial period, the Philippine government introduced new taxation laws which were designed to modernize the country's tax system. The first income tax law was enacted in 1904, and it required all the individuals earning more than $800 a year to pay income tax. The government also introduced new taxes on goods and services, such as the sales tax and excise tax, to generate revenue for the government. Japanese Regime the Japanese occupation of the Philippines during World War II resulted in significant changes in the country's tax system. The Japanese government imposed new taxes on the people, such as war tax, to finance their war efforts. The occupation also disrupted the collection of taxes as many Filipinos went into hiding or joined the resistance movement. Post-war era after war, the Philippine government introduced new tax policies aimed at rebuilding the country's economy. The government increases taxes on goods and services to generate revenue for the rehabilitation of war-torn areas. In 1954, the Philippine Congress passed the Internal Revenue Code, which replaced the income tax law in 1939 and introduced a new tax system based on progressive taxation. Marcos Administration During the Marcos Administration, the government introduced new tax policies aimed at promoting economic development. The government implemented a value-added tax or VAT system in 1984, which replaced the sales tax system. The VAT system helped the government generate more revenue and reduce tax evasion. Aquino Administration the Aquino administration introduced several reforms to improve the country's tax system, such as the Tax Reform Act of 1997. The law simplified the tax system and reduced the tax rates on individuals and corporations. The government also introduced a new tax amnesty program aimed at encouraging tax compliance. Ramos Administration During Ramos Administration, 
the government continued to implement tax reforms aimed at promoting economic growth. The government introduced the Expanded Value Added Tax or EVAT system in 1998, which increased the VAT rate from 10% to 12%. The government also implemented new tax incentives to attract foreign investment to the country. Estrada Administration The Estrada Administration introduced new tax policies aimed at improving revenue collection and reducing tax evasion. The government introduced a new electronic tax billing system, which made it easier for individuals and businesses to file their taxes. The government also increased the tax rates on tobacco and alcohol products to generate more revenue. Arroyo Administration During Arroyo Administration, several tax reforms were implemented, including the Value Added Tax or VAT Reform of 2005 and the Tax Reform Act of 2009. The Expanded Senior Citizen Act of 2010 was also introduced, which provided tax incentives to businesses that provided discounts to senior citizens. Aquino Administration During the Aquino Administration, several significant tax reforms were implemented. One of the most significant was the Sin Tax Reform Law of 2012 which aimed to increase revenue and reduce the consumption of tobacco and alcohol. The law increased excise taxes on tobacco and alcohol products, generating additional revenue for the government. In 2015, the Tax Incentive Management and Transparency Act was passed, which aimed to improve transparency and accountability in granting of taxes incentive to businesses. The law required businesses to report on their use of tax incentive and mandated the creation of tax incentive information system to monitor the granting of incentives. In 2016, the Comprehensive Tax Reform Program was introduced with the aim of simplifying the tax system, making it more progressive and increasing revenue for the government. The Comprehensive Tax Reform Program proposed a reduction in income tax rates while increasing excise taxes on fuel and other products. The law also proposed the introduction of tax on sugary beverages which was later implemented in 2018. To sum it up, we can conclude that the history of taxation in the Philippines has evolved over the time from the pre-colonial era to the present day. The government has introduced several tax reforms to increase revenue and address the country economic problems. Taxation remains an essential part of the Philippine government's revenue system and it will continue to play a crucial role in the country's development.